Well, Michael Vick looks like he's going to sign with the team. Nobody knows yet. You know, Minnesota has some needs. Uh, looks like maybe he could end up there because they're starting to do their homework on Michael Vick, uh, so to speak. Uh, that's that's what I'm hearing, but who knows how true that is. But anyway, I think the guy should be allowed to play again because he served his, his time. And uh, I don't know what, what else people want from him. If the guy came on and said five million times that, look, I did a wrong thing, and I, and I please forgive me. And this is supposed to be a Christian nation. And we're what about forgiveness? You know, like I, I don't understand it because what he did was wrong. I don't condone what he did, but we can't just keep, you know, you can't just keep just piling on on somebody when they're trying when they said that they've acknowledged that they've done something wrong. If they acknowledge it, we got to move on. That's how we heal and grow and move forward. And so. I, I just don't understand it. If, if, am I being a softie or what? No, I mean, come on. There's laws in this country, and I'm sorry, Roger Goodell and the NFL, but to me, legal code takes precedent over um, the rule of the NFL land. And, you know, this guy did some really bad stuff. And he's, honestly, Michael Vick has no other marketable skill other than playing football. What does Michael Vick do if you don't let him play football anymore? He, he owes a lot of money. He To get that money, if he's not playing football, he's going to have to do something not very good. So do you do you want him to, to try to be productive citizen? Do you want him to try to, right. to, be, to be the poster boy for forgiveness? Or do you want him to go and try to dip into something illegal, some sort of gambling like he was doing before, to try to make that money back? Because it's, the, it's all about the debtors right now. Here's the thing in the NFL. I mean, you've got people in the league that are – you know, if you've got people in the league that have done some pretty bad things, uh, and, 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 you know, besides Michael Vick, I mean, you got to give the guy give the guy a chance. You know, let him play. He has paid his debt to society. I mean, the guy, you know, did his time. And I think if uh, uh, Roger Goodell, I think he probably would have uh, given him a much harsher uh, suspension had it, you know, if, 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 he didn't, if he didn't agree with that, if he didn't agree that he had uh, paid, paid his debt to society. Yeah, I just, I just think that uh, if... If we, you know, you got to put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Once again, we've all said over and over again how horrible it was, what he did. But at the same time, when do you move on from something? That's just like if you're mad at somebody at your house, or maybe your kid did something stupid or whatever. Are you going to be walking around the house frowning at him for the rest of his life and looking for other things to pile on him and treating him like like garbage because you can't forgive him? Forgiveness is a big thing that. That we all need to have. I mean, and, and I know it's easier said than done in some situations, but we gotta, we we have to advance as people with forgiveness, you know. And this, it's, there's some situations where it's it's really hard to do that because you harden your heart. But this is a lesson for everybody to take on forgiveness and and move down the road, and and, and we all become productive along with Michael Vick being productive because we've all done something that that makes the healing process better. We forgave. That said. Would you take him on your team right now? I'd take him on my team because I'd give him. A, he'd have a short leash, though. You know, um, no, probably a bad choice of words. But anyway, oh, he, yeah. I'd take him on my team, okay. but I wouldn't let him. You know, as soon as he messed up, I'd say, "Look, Mike, we gave you a chance. We got, we got to move on." But I would give him a chance. Dougie Fresh. I think I, 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 there are teams out there that can use the guy. I mean, look at how many quarterbacks. But would you take him on your team? Would I take right? him on my team? I'd give him a chance. Sure I would. But I, I have to agree with Van in that I would give the guy a short leash. I mean, no question about it. He's he's had a – pardon the pun one more time. I'm sorry about <laughs> that. We, me and Van are, I guess, are on the same wavelength tonight. But, uh, you know, I would certainly, you know, make sure he understands that, hey, you don't get many more chances here. I mean, this is it. I mean, you got to – you know, you, this is this is your opportunity right here. You get you make it or break it, and, and like I said, there are teams around the league that can certainly use his talents. It's going to take them a while. I mean, the guy's going to yeah. be rusty. It's uh, it's just going to take the guy a while to kind of get himself back to where he once was, if he can get back there. But I think once he does, I think you know he's proven in the past that he can certainly play the game of football. Maybe. You know, maybe another option for him might be Canada, the Canadian Football League, with his wide open, you know, with his ability to run and do other things. What do you guys think about that? What about, what, what an awesome story this would be if he comes back because he learned from his mistakes. He's probably going to be more dedicated to what he's doing. If he comes back and plays really well, 
but he is also a real humble guy, and he's and he's a he's an outstanding guy as far as the way he represents himself this time around because people gave him a chance. That'd be an outstanding story, and everybody would have a part in that. Everybody who forgave, not the people who are still screaming and yelling and knocking down walls. No, no, you know, when I see that, I think people are acting like monsters. When people can't forgive, it's a turnoff. I gotta say, I would take him. I take him on Dallas in a second. I take him on. I mean, they've taken on guys who have done awful things, and they've got a good support system there. You know what? I don't think Canada's a good idea, but he can certainly run the Wildcat offense. And Michael Vick was never a good studier, was never a good quarterback. So I don't think he's going to be as rusty as everybody thinks. I mean, he didn't lose his ability to run. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, and like you said, we need to – let's give him a chance. Let's give him a second chance. Look at guys like Pac-Man Jones and Chris Henry. They blow fourth and fifth and sixth chances. Yeah, they do small things, but they have this cycle of behavior that's just yeah. disturbing. And he doesn't even seem like that kind of guy. Well, we don't know. Let's find out. Let's give him a chance. So that's what I say. All right. Well, y'all give me a chance to work. <laughs> I got I to gotta get out of here. <laughs>